Okay, a few more expressions involving radicals and fractions for us to simplify. Okay, first right here I have negative 4 minus square root 40 all divided by 4. I want to simplify this. So what I'm going to do is simplify the radical first, and I know that 40 is 4 times 10. So square root 40 is going to be square root 4 times square root 10, and that square root 4 I can write as 2. So 2 square root 10 all divided by Four. And then what I'll do is take the greatest common factor I see for the two terms in the numerator outside with factoring. So 2 times negative 2 minus square root 10 all divided by, let me just write 4 as 2 times 2. So you can see the common factor in the numerator and denominator. I'll divide that out and what I have left is negative 2 minus square root 10 all divided by 2. So that's our answer in simplified form, and you don't want to weaken here and try to divide out these twos. That two is not a factor of the numerator. That two is a factor of the numerator, and so I can divide it out with that factor, that common factor that's in the denominator. Okay, here's another problem. I have negative six plus square root 48 over two. So that would be negative six plus, okay, 48 is gonna be 16 times three. Square root 16 will be 4, so I'm going to have 4 square root 3, all divided by 2. I see I have a common factor of 2 in the numerator. I'll factor that out. 2 times negative 3 plus 2 square root 3, all divided by 2. And so now I have a factor common to the numerator and denominator, that 2, which I'll divide out. What's left is negative 3 plus 2 square root 3. So there's simplified form for that expression right there, and we used the same process. We took the radical, put it in simplified form, look for a factor that's common to those two terms, factor it outside. If that factor appears in the denominator, then we divide it out if we can. Okay, one last problem. Let's see. 6 minus square root of, let's see, 108, 108, the largest perfect square that divides that, I think it's 36. Let's see. 36 times 3, is that right? 3 times 6 is 18. Carry the 1. 3 times 3 is 9, and 1 is 10. So 108. So 36 times 3 is 108, all divided by 18. That's going to be 6 minus 6 square root 3, all divided by 18. And let's see. Let me move this down here. And I'll say equals, let me factor that 6 out of both terms in the numerator. 6 times 1 minus square root 3, all divided by 18, which I can write as 6 times 3. Now I'll divide out that common factor 6, and I have left 1 minus square root 3, all divided by 3. So same process again, I showed one extra step here where I showed the 108 is 36 times 3, then I took the square root of 36 outside as 6, square root 3, and then factored out that greatest common factor 6 from the numerator, and then divided out those common factors in the numerator and denominator. So that's how we simplify expressions like this. These simplified expressions right here will always be easier to work with for us than these original expressions right here. So you might solve an equation later or something, get a solution that looks like this. You want to be able to put it in simplified form so that it looks like this also. And this is the way you do it, by simplifying the radicals and then looking for common factors for the numerator and denominator.